Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting, different and relaxing quick question. And in this video we have the same question, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 times 0, which is really like a relaxing quick question, we have only 2, we have multiplication, we have 0, we have addition, so it's not like a complicated question, it's not like a hard, a different expression right here, we don't have any squares, cubes, we have very simple expression on the first side and as you can see a really interesting and easy, easy answers. It's not like a huge numbers. So I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Let's solve it, uh, of course, together, and we will check our answers here in just in just one minute. It will be really interesting. So just trust me. You can easily check your school knowledge, check your brain level, check your algebra skill. It will be it will be really interesting. So here's our question: two plus two plus two times zero. Very simple on the first side. Let's look at it from this perspective. So we have two plus two plus two and times and times zero. So here is our question, and to look of students, uh, a lot of students do this uh, solve it like that because they know that, for example, you have whatever you want number on the left hand side, for example, you have like 8, yeah, 8 multiplied multiplied by 0 equal to 0, and wherever you have a number, doesn't matter what your number you have on the left hand side, for example, 1000, if you multiply this number by 0, the answer is 0. And a lot of students solve it like that, they say, okay, we have some some number on the left hand side, for example, in the same case, this is 6, yeah, 6 times 0 equal to, equal to 0. So one part of students solve it like that, and they say okay option a is a correct a correct answer i don't know that this is i don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect i want you to understand that we need to know about a correct order of operation we don't have in this case we don't have a uh, old addition old multiplication we have addition and uh, and multiplication so as you can see this is a mix with operations we have addition and multiplication so we need to know what we need to start with we need to no, what we need to start with is addition or with multiplication. So in this case, I have this PMDMC order of operation. This is the main popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC. And of course, we will check our answers here with this with this zero. Maybe we'll have the same answer. I don't know exactly, but let's look at it. So I just separate these two solutions. So we have two plus two plus two and times zero. Okay, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and we need to look at it at the from the first step to the last step. The first step, according to PMDMC, is parentheses. And now we need to scan where do we have these parentheses. Let's look at it. I don't see any parentheses, so it's really great because we can easily skip this skip this part. This is very bad part because we, if you have parentheses, it's like a more complicated uh, question. Of course, we, if you don't have parentheses, yeah. So we skip this part. We don't have parentheses. Okay. The next step from the top to the bottom. The next step exponents. Yeah. Let's look at it. Where do we have this fourth power, first power, tenth power, maybe huge power? Right here, we don't have any any power right here, so we just we can easily skip this part, which is really great. Okay, we skipped this. We already skipped two part right here. Let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is multiplication, but a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, then we need to find only multiplication sign. But uh, we need to add to this multiplication, we need to add division part, because this is group. We need to look at it as a group. Multiplication and division, this is one common group right here. And we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's let, let's look at it real quick from left to right. We have addition. This is not our case. We have addition and once more. We have, we have multiplication and of course we don't have division. So we completed this part. We find this step. So we need to start from this from this multiplication. Of course, uh, we have this addition on in the beginning, so 2 plus 2 plus and 2 times 0. What is the correct answer? 2 times 0, of course, as I told before, doesn't matter what number do we have on the left hand side. If you, if you multiply it by 0, doesn't matter what huge number, low number. If you multiply by 0, your, your answer right here is, is 0. Which is, which is really tricky and really great moment because right now, as you can see, a correct answer is not 0. Because if you go to the last step, addition and subtraction, we have only addition, we can easily complete this step because this is like very easy part, the easiest part, we just add 2 plus 2 plus 0, which is equal to equal to 4. So 4 is not the same as 0 right here. And we can easily say that we have two, two solutions. But here is our question. What is the correct solution? Because it looks like correct, it's this is looked like correct, but which is which is correct as well, because one is wrong. So correct answer, of course, this is four, because we solve it according to PMDMC, and PMDMC is a correct order of operation. This solution is absolutely wrong and forget about it, because you solve it not according to order of operation. You just know from school that multiplying by zero give us zero and you solve it 
from school you knowing this rule but uh, right here this is one really interesting moment i write you real quick our answer right here our answer is option four this is c but one really important moment if you put parentheses right here let's look at it real quick very interesting moment if you put parentheses then as you can see the first step is parentheses so we need to start from these parentheses we have two plus two plus two we give us six and six times zero give us zero so if we have parentheses, we can easily say that our answer is zero is a correct answer. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. So the correct answer is for option, option C. So very tricky question. I hope you understand my explanation. I wish you all the best and I have a lot of content on my channel. I have a lot of really interesting and tricky algebra questions. So I hope you enjoy it. So see you in the next videos and have a great day.